What's going on everybody? It's your boy the low-key legend. How the fuck y'all doing today? I'm doing all right today I got a brand new video here for you guys and we are back with a brand new episode of stoner tips This has or this is going to be episode 104 of the stoner tips series today's topic We're gonna be covering one hitters So with that being said if you guys do enjoy be sure to smash that thumbs up button It does go a long way and with that I guess let's just dive right on into it, bro Fuck it. So, one hitters, bro. There's a lot I could talk about on one hitters. Uh, number one thing, they are definitely underrated. All right. I'm sure maybe not a lot of you guys have hit an actual one hitter, or, you know, maybe they hit a, you hit a piece, a small little steamroller like piece. But if you guys get your hands on a one hitter, a regular one hitter, they come in a lot of different, not a lot. They're all made pretty much the same. It's just maybe the size of a jewel. All right. I'm holding my jewel in my, I would say, what is that? Maybe like four or five inches. And if, when you have a one hitter dude normally the one hitters they come in they look like a cigarette all right the exact little uh color of a cigarette the mouthpiece will be orange and the entire rest of the one hitter will be white they do work okay one hitters are definitely one of the most underrated things in smoking weed i know a lot of you guys probably would prefer to go straight to a bong or a bowl even you know or, or just roll a blunt i'm sure a lot of you guys would rather do that but if you guys need a good way to conserve weed man one hitters are the way to go okay one hitters definitely the most underrated piece i believe because when you go out and smoke with your friends not a lot of them bust out a one hitter but here's a good idea to do with your friends i'm gonna go i'm gonna say this first one hitters really are meant to be smoked alone uh it's not really something you're gonna bust out in a rotation but if you guys do manage to bust it out in a rotation here's what i could recommend to do so if you have a grinder grind up the amount of weed that you would maybe roll in a blunt or however much weed you want to preferably smoke with your squad or you know your friends or whatever and then pass that in the entire grinder around with the one hitter all right you yeah, obviously when you're smoking this thing you got to be in an environment uh, preferably not outdoors uh because if you drop that grinder you're fucked all right and and you're passing the grinder and the one hitter around okay so you pack the one hitter here's the thing with one hitters though all right you pack it all the way you pack it as much as you can and when i say pack all you got to do is dump the one hitter into the grinder or into whatever grinded weeds you want twist it a couple times and then come out with it and that should be one solid hit all right you might have to do it a couple times if you don't think that it's enough go into another little pile of weed uh twist it a little bit come back up until you know there's no more weed that it can actually fit now one hitters really can't fit a lot of weed but here's the thing they live up to their name so one hitters should be able to be cleared in one hit and now that one hit you guys take should be fat as fuck i've been in rotations where guys that i've passed it to they'll take two three hits out of the one hitter because because they didn't clear it in one hit. Now that's perfectly fine as well, but in a rotation, you you clear whatever you pack pretty much, all right? And here's the here's the, you know, the, the better perk of it. If you clear that thing in one hit, obviously, it's going to be a, a good amount of weed to clear in one hit, all right? And if you do manage to do it, it's going to be a very strong hit and it's going to get you a lot more fucked up, okay? And it's going to be a very little amount of weed as well. Another perk would be everybody gets greens, all right? After you're done with it, you blow it out, pass it past the grinder and the one hitter to the next person and vice and they do the same thing they pack up a full nice green hit and when they hit that shit it's all green all right there's no ash there's no you know bullshit weed in there you know burnt weed is what i'm trying to get at there's none of that you get a fresh clean hit after every time you pack it that is one of the most dope things about one hitters because it's always green everyone who gets to hit it hits greens and that's dope as hell so keep that into consideration as well one hitters are super cheap you can get them for like fucking 10 bucks probably less than that i don't know 10 15 bucks i'm sure if you get it in a tobacco store they're gonna be taxed a little bit uh there's another thing about one hitters i want to talk about i don't know if i should cover it in this video but they're called dugout boxes i believe and it's a one hitter in a box and on the other side of the little box there's spots you can put weed you can put grinded up weed in i'm going to talk about that in another episode of stoner tips in the future very shortly but uh I'm, I'm glad you guys have been dropping ideas for me in the comments be sure to drop any comments that uh you guys want me to hit on of stoner tips so i can get to that eventually one hitters was another requested one by somebody very dope idea and i'm glad that uh they said that so because i never did a one hitter one yet and one hitters like i said there's a lot to cover on one hitters but i feel like i did a good job doing the i feel like i gave you guys a lot of information i'm not sure if there's a lot else to talk about to be honest i go over the prices different colors um you know there's different si not really different sizes they're all relatively the same and that 
is just for your, you know, own personal use, so it's easier to hide. You could do a lot of shit with it, pretty much, dude. You could hide it very easily. It's very transportable. All you gotta do is, you know, find a little fucking very little spot to throw that bitch in. Um... And it's, it's very low key. All right. You can, you can smoke one hitters fucking anywhere you want. You can smoke them, you know, in the middle of a park, if you really want to just, you just got to be low key about it, you know, and just take one hit at a time, obviously, and p go in a, you know, low key spot where you could pack this shit. But uh, in the end, it is what it is, man. You guys could do whatever you want with it. But if you guys have not smoked out of a one hitter, if you don't own a one hitter, that is definitely going to be a stoner accessory. I would, uh, or a, p a piece of stoner equipment that I would recommend you guys to get your hands on again, very, very very easy to save weed like this. You go in there, you know, you go wherever you can, pack that thing up, take one, two, maybe two hits. And you know, when I, when you pack it, make sure you try to clear it in one hit, because when you do that, you will get a lot more fucked up. Don't try to ghost, you know, don't do any tricks with it. Don't do, I mean, you could do a French and nail if you want, but if you want to get the most high, just zero or not don't zero it but just as soon as you're done hitting it just take that second breath in when it gets into your lungs and that's it that's all you got to do is just inhale again you don't have to do any tricks so that way you know for a fact you're not going to waste any smoke i know some of you guys might out, might always do a ghost out there or do, always do a french inhale it's just habit it has become a habit with me as well when i do smoke even even my jewel it's like sometimes i'll just bust out a ghost or a random fucking french inhale not as often but I know when you're smoking weed, it, it gets like that, bro. You just have to ghost, do a small little, even if it's small. But if you guys are trying to do some tricks with it, just put yourself in a situation where it's like, all right, if I don't catch this whole ghost, it's all good. But but one hitters really aren't meant for that, dude. If you want to do something like that, do smoke tricks, smoke a blunt. One hitters are supposed to be for that maybe, you know, last half gram of weed and you want to drag it out for a day or two, you know, because you could definitely do it with a one hitter uh, and they're just super underrated. You never see anybody really hit one hitters and it's, it's definitely something I'd recommend you guys to try to get your hands on yeah it's it's one of those things bro it's like you, you gotta have it in your stoner accessories bro even if you don't smoke it a lot it's cool to it, it comes in handy a lot more than you guys would think very easy to clean as well if you guys have any uh what are they called pipe cleaners just slide it right through the entire thing one time and it's cleared you're gonna have a lot of resin built up in it after a short amount of time simply because they it just sits in there after every hit and after every time you clear a one hitter not all the weed 100% will get out sometimes you'll be in situations where there's a little tiny nug stuck all the way in the back of the one hitter and you kind of got to keep roasting it so you keep trying to hit it and eventually you'll get to a point where that nugs so loose in there you could just blow it out or just keep clearing it until you clear the entire thing but keep in mind you don't want it to uh get any shooters down your you know in, into your mouth and shit that's fucking nasty i hate that shit but it, it happens to the best of us so anyways man that's really all i got to say about one hitters try to cop them if you can online i'm sure they'll be a lot cheaper than in the tobacco stores but even in the tobacco stores they're not taxing that much on one hitters because not a lot of people enjoy smoking on one hitters as much as they do a bong or a blunt which is very understandable i agree with that as well i'd much rather smoke a blunt or rip a bong than smoke a one hitter but if you want to pack that you know either pack a bong one time with your last gram of weed pack a nice little bowl or manage that weed out for another couple days using a one hitter definitely possible uh definitely definitely possible and I, I just recommend you guys to try it out if you haven't already definitely something you should do anyways man that's really all i got for you guys in this episode of stoner tips talking about one hitters i think i covered everything i need to cover on one hitters uh, if you guys have any other questions drop them in the comment section below if you guys think i might have missed anything uh, about one hitters also drop them in the comment section help everybody out out there and really that is everything i wanted to say in this episode of stoner tips this has been episode 104 of the stoner tips series Series. I uploaded a video yesterday. If you guys have not seen it, it was called Xanax and Lean. All right, I talked about, uh, you know, my experience with that and gave a little story behind it. My first time trying both of them at the same time. I fucked up on the editing. All right, I got some gameplay, threw it in, and I forgot to turn the gameplay volume down. So that's, I know that's probably annoying for a lot of people, but I still do appreciate the positive feedback that I got on the video. And I watched it back on my own too. It's kind of hard to understand me at certain parts. I was really thinking about removing it, but I don't really want to re-edit the entire thing uh i actually deleted the audio for it so i really don't have that either but i'm just gonna keep it up i might have to remake that in the future though but i think that a lot of you guys got the understanding and managed to make it through that video 
so I want to thank you guys for the support on that one, man. It was not my best edited video. I just kind of fucked up a little bit, but yeah, either way, man, glad you guys enjoyed, and hopefully you guys did enjoy this episode of Stoner Tips. If you guys have any other suggestions, drop them in the comment section below, and I will get to them very shortly. Thanks so much for watching. Again, drop a like if you did enjoy. Subscribe if you are new to the YouTube channel. Follow me on Instagram. It's going to be the first link in the description, Lowkey Legend, with a K-I instead of a K-E-Y because someone stole my fucking name, uh, but whatever. It's all good, bro. Y'all stay safe. Stay savage. Stay low-key. It's your boy, the low-key legend. I'm out of here, guys. I'll see you tomorrow. Adios.